Who are you? We have labels that we put on that you're a father or a mother for some of you, that you are a husband or wife, that you're a child, son or daughter, you are quote unquote your job. You've got all of these roles, but they're not you, not all of you. Who are you? So you have all of these roles that you play and they may be part of you, but it's certainly not all of you. Just because you're a, a father doesn't mean that that's all you are because you are also uh, a son. You are also a uh, community contributor, you, whatever it is in your hobbies. These are all parts, facets of you, but they're not the whole you. And what tends to happen over time is we get so caught up in busyness, you know, because work is there, you're playing your role as a parent, you're playing your role as a child, particularly with elder care as parents age. You're doing this and all of these things, being a manager, being a leader, being a, a spouse, whatever it is. And all of these after a while, when things get intense, they lose connection with who you are. And it's almost like you're putting on a mask because when you're at work, you put on that mask of the leader or the person in that role. When you are with your kids, you put on that mask of parent, but because of all the other things that are there, you're not necessarily able to fully be there and connect with them. You're just playing the role. What I encourage you to do is invest a bit of time, write down all of these roles that you play in your life. Could be all sorts of things. It could be roles such as I've mentioned, familial connections. It could be things that you do. I'm a dancer, for example, right? Uh, it could be things that you do in the community or roles that you play there. Put down that list and it may actually astound you how long the list is. And then start to explore, first of all, two things. Number one, what are the connections between those? And how do they, does one flow into another or feed another? Secondly, who are you when you're not wearing any of those masks? So this can take a bit of time to think about it, maybe to have a conversation with a friend. Uh, to journal about it, but really start to think, if I don't wear any of those masks, who am I really? And the challenge is that by this point in life, we've gotten so caught in our busyness, a lot of people have lost touch with who they really are at the center. So what about taking a moment to start to figure that out? And I'm curious to hear what your insights are, your experiences with this uh, in your life. Jot down in the comments below and let's have an interesting conversation about this.